Hi there, let's take a quick look at a term you may come across when you're looking at marketing research, the idea of confidence intervals. To help explain the concept here, consider this question. If we were undertaking a, a survey of our customers and we got the results back in, the, in a market research report, as management, how confident could you be that they, the results of the survey are accurate? Can you rely on this on the survey? Similarly, if you're running a, a quality control process in a, in a manufacturing business, like making cola bottles, how confident can you be that your quality control checks are correct, that you are picking up the right percentage of faulty goods or faulty uh, production? And I guess really in that situation, you would want to be pretty confident, highly confident, 99.95% perhaps confident, that your quality control samples and checks are correct because there's big implications if you're wrong. And that's really the idea of confidence intervals, confidence intervals and confidence levels. Confidence intervals, what it is, it gives you the percentage probability that what you're, what you're trying to estimate is in fact included in the results of your sample. So you might be 95% confident that the results of your sample or your research are correct. It's important in business because you can't be 100% certain about anything, particularly where you are trying to use sampling to gain some assurance that what you're doing is okay. That's why confidence intervals are being used or are used in businesses. And I've just listed on the screen there you know, three or four areas where confidence intervals are used. It might be worth jotting uh, one or two of those down into your notes. I'd actually suggest that the top two are perhaps the most frequent and most important uses of uh, confidence intervals in business, certainly the businesses I've been involved with over the years. Quality control, quality management makes extensive use of statistical sampling uh, to, uh, to try to detect issues and you want to be pretty confident that the sampling is going to give you the right results, it's going to give you accurate data. Similarly, statistical sampling of marketing research is important to make sure that you can rely on the data that's being drawn the, or the uh, inference that's been drawn from the uh, from the data. But confidence intervals are also used in other areas. Uh, let's take that last one on the table there. Sales forecasting, uh, investment appraisal potentially. Again, sales forecasts rely on uh, a guess and hopefully an informed guess or estimate, perhaps using things like extrapolation or uh, moving averages to try to predict the future. But the confidence intervals might give you some insights into how to what extent you can rely on the sales forecast how how variable could the those sales forecast be there we go hopefully that's useful that's just a, a very quick overview of this concept in of the use in business of confidence intervals